Welcome to today's edition of Three Minute Halacha. This week we'll welcome the new month of Mar Cheshvan, numerically the eighth month of our calendar when we begin counting the months from Nisan, which the Torah teaches us is the Rishon Hu L'Chodshesh, and the first of the months of the year. The name Mar Cheshvan comes from the ancient Semitic language of Akkadian that was spoken in Babylonia and most likely comes from a contraction of two words, Rachman, corresponding to a Hebrew words of Yerach Shmini, the eighth month. It shouldn't be surprising that it was a name given to us from Akkadian because the Gemara in the Yerushalmi, Rosh Hashanah notes three things returned with the Jews from Babylonia, the names of the months, the names of the angels, and the Hebrew script we use today. By the way, the month of October was also once the eighth month during Roman times before the months of January and February were inserted into the calendar. Halachically, we need to remember that Mar Cheshvan is the real name of this month, as the Orach HaShulchan notes in Evan Ezer 127.17, and that's the way the month should always be written on legal documents. Nevertheless, because people have used the word Cheshvan so often, the Orach HaShulchan also notes that if the word Cheshvan was used on a get or a ketuba, the document is nevertheless valid because Cheshvan has become so widespread. It's for the same reason if someone reused the biblical name for the month, which we find in Sefer Melachim Aleph, chapter 6, verse 38, the name Bull, that a document would also be valid. There is, of course, the well-known legend that teaches that the name of the month is Cheshvan and that it is Mar, it's bitter because there are no holidays in this month making it that bitter month. There's also a teaching that the reason it's called the bitter Cheshvan is because Sarah Imenu passed away during the month of Cheshvan, and this we read in Esther Rabbah. Because of these negative associations, there are those who refrain from getting married in Mar Cheshvan, as we see in Shelot to Chuvot, Lev Chaim, Volume 2, Chuvat 26, and also the Stei Chemed in Marechet Chatan Vekala, number 23, claims that this was the Minhag in Yerushalayim. It's been suggested that the reason why Mar Cheshvan became a two-word name instead of its original one word was because of the fact of a targum, which is found on Yeshayahu, chapter 40, verse 15, which translates the word mar as a tipa, as a drop of water. Hen goyim kemar midli, behold, the nations are like a drop of water from a bucket. As such, the two-word format can actually be read as rainy cheshvan, alluding to our hope that HaKadosh Baruch Hu sends us rain during this month. In stark contrast to all of those who have bitter connotations with this month, the Bnei Yisachar in volume 256-57 writes that there's a medrash which teaches that the dedication of third, the third Beit HaMikdash will actually occur in this month of Cheshvan. And so we pray that this Mar Cheshvan, the real name of the month, will also be a, a month in which great things are destined to happen for our people. Not that it'll be bitter, but very joyous.